Hello everybody, welcome to a remake of my NPC random dialogue uh, tutorial. Um, I'm going to start this tutorial assuming that you already know how to make an event with a character on it. You open up your event, you go to contents, and then you go down to, f uh, let's see here, game progression, go to control variables, click it, choose a variable that's not currently in use, for me it's going to be one. Name it something relevant so that you know that's what it's being used for later on when you're in development of your game. Mine's going to be random talk. Hit OK. Go down here to random and then choose between zero and one less than what you want all of your options to be. So if you want three options, it's going to be zero and two. You could do one and three, which is what I'm going to do because I find that more simple. Simpler? Simpler. So I'm going to hit OK. Then I'm going to go to down here, sorry, I can't talk, down here to conditional branch, go to variable, random talk, because it was already selected because it was the first one. If it's not, go to it and select it. Go to equal to variable, or I'm sorry, constant one, which is the first number. Hit OK. I'm sorry, I just woke up. Go to show text. This is variable one. Okay. Then where it says else, you go under that, do conditional branch, variable is equal to 2. And then down, right underneath there, right here, you do show text, do this is, oops, I'm sorry, this is variable 2. Enter does not work like that. Go down to else, conditional branch, variable equal to 3. And then show text. This is variable three. Enter still does not work like that. All right, this is what it looks like when you're done. Assuming you have three variables, you can have more or less if you so desired. Make them realistic. Three, four sounds about right to me and anybody else who's playing your game. They might not be talking to the characters more than that many times. So give them like random tips or something. Maybe I don't know. That's just my suggestion. Hit OK. I'm gonna do a play test. Save changes. Yes, I would. All right. Let's go over to this NPC here. This is variable one. All right. This is variable two. This is variable one. This is variable three. As you can see, it randomly selects a variable and then chooses a speeching thingy dependent upon the variable that is selected. Um, if you like the video, like it. If you haven't subscribed already, go ahead and subscribe for more tutorials, and I will talk to you guys later.